All right, go. Hey, it's Chris and Don. Speak up. Yeah, what? What? The blower's going. I think they're working on the field. They might get it dry by uh, next next Fiesta Bowl. Yes. Uh, that was an issue. That was one of the questions I wanted to ask tonight was that both teams were slipping and sliding all over this field. Obviously, Auburn overcame that, but uh, it was certainly an issue. But anyways, here we are. National championship's over. Auburn is national champs for the first time since 1957. What do you make of that? I can't believe that the state of Alabama has got back-to-back national champs with the Heisman Trophy win. That's phenomenal. I, I, and the I, way that Auburn did it was, I, I honestly truly thought that they were going to blow this game. And when Oregon scored, we were standing right there. The fact that they drove it back down the field and won, that the way they won, it was amazing! It was amazing. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sure Tumor's Corner is going crazy right now. The people who are here are probably going crazy outside. I'm sure there's a cactus somewhere that's toilet papered, oh, yeah. Yeah, or yeah. several. We'll have to check back at the hotel. But uh, just another storybook ending for an Alabama sports te- uh, Alabama football team that it, it, two years in a row like you said how, how, how can you believe it when this season started Auburn was ranked 22nd 23rd no. In the way they started. I remember me and Todd Eagles on the other side of this camera, we were in Star- there he is. <laughs> we were in Starkville against Mississippi State. That was one of the worst college football games I'd ever seen. Cam Newton looked horrible. They right. all looked horrible. And the fact that they were able to win it with defense. Yeah. No one would have thought that this Auburn team would have won with defense. No, not they, at all. They won that championship tonight. They were bent, they were bent but but don't break all year long. But tonight they didn't really bend all that much. I mean they made big plays when they had to. They contained Michael James. And they did it. I think it was pretty clear that the Auburn coaches saw something on film over the last month that they knew they were going to. Because Gene Chizik kept saying over and over, this is going to come down to defense. Even though these offenses scored so much, this was going to come down to defense. And it did. Well, it's been a heck of a week uh, or a little more than a week for you, Don, uh, since we arrived here in Scottsdale, Glendale, Phoenix area. Um, You know, uh, unanswered questions right now. Cam Newton appears hurt probably ticketed for the NFL, so it probably doesn't matter at this point. I would imagine Nick Fairley, he might be the number one pick in the draft yeah. now with Andrew Luck going back. I think he probably earned the number one pick in the draft today. Cam Newton hurt his back. He came in late to the news conference, left early. I know you wanted to ask him a question, and he couldn't do it, but uh, his back is hurt. But I think he goes pro. I think definitely Fairley goes pro. Beyond that, a bunch of this team's coming back. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, right. we'll wrap it up. We've got a lot of work to do. Be sure to check out AuburnChannel.com. Good for, job, for, Chris. Good for, to see you. Man. Yeah, good to see you. For all the post-game <laughs> highlights and uh, and whatnot, we'll have that on AuburnChannel.com, and uh, we'll have this up on the Facebook pages as soon as we can. Thank you very much for your Todd attention Eagle. this week. Thank you, Todd Eagle, Scott Brown, Ben Bryson, a cast of thousands out here, not really, in uh, Arizona. We appreciate your attention. We appreciate your viewership. And uh, keep, keep with us.